Okay, you're here. Today I'm going to do the shop mustache. So first of all, I'll go through what I already had in. So the first thing that I chose, I'm just going to move my mirror out of the way for last time, is that I wanted to try out the Magic Spell palette in the Living Coral palette from UKB. That's the Magic Spell one. And I've done a look with this one that's already up and um, I've done three other looks with this one and I've also done a first impression since we had the looks with this one but they're not up yet but they will be soon so um, if you want to find out my thoughts on these palettes then watch out for those videos and I also wanted to have a play with this one which is my Tichy Shocking Brights OMFG2 I didn't get around to playing with this one. I was too busy making Halloween looks and things, and um, like I just never got around to using it. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. <laughs> I had my Profusion Spectrum palette. I did use this. I did three, I think it was only three looks with this. And um, that video will be coming soon as well. <laughs> and I did, uh, I had, my highlighter and my blush. So I was using my W7 Strobe Time highlighter, which seemed to go well with the palettes that I've chosen this month. And I used my Milani Floral Fantasy blushes, O2, and they those colours went well as well with like especially the Living Coral palette. It's got those kind of tones in it. And so I enjoyed using those, and I also um, had pulled out my um, Revlon bronzer in Seoul, which is just a matte bronzer, and my Wet n Wild Ticket to Brazil bronzer. Because this one's got a bit of a glow to it, as you can see, it's going down. So I enjoyed using those together. And what else did I? pick in terms of eyeshadow. Now I did talk about possibly pulling in um, two of the things that I had bought at the at the end of September but I didn't because there were too many other things I was trying out so so that they'll have to wait for, for this shape and I bought in various lip products and lipsticks. So I have bought in. Um, let me just grab them. <laughs> so what I ended up doing was I grabbed a few colours, and then all the ones that I actually used during the month, I also put aside. So I actually used all these different colours during the month of September. So I'm not sure. How useful it is to go through them, but I used the CoverGirl Celebrity 100 with a melting pout. Really enjoyed this. I used my L'Oreal Colory Shine and Rush in a blush. This is just a nude pale pink, which was appropriate for some of the looks I was doing. I used my L'Oreal Lip Paint Lacquer in Gone with Nude, and this one is a, a doe foot. One. It doesn't dry down, it's it's still a lipstick, but it, it's just in a different form. And um, this was a really great colour to go with some of the Living Coral looks that I did. And I used my Molten Bronze Maybelline one. And this went really well with some of the looks that I did in the You Can Be Magic Spell palette, because it had some of those pinky brown kind of colours in there. Soft Toffee is one that I often end up going for. This is um, an Ultra 3 lipstick, an extremely cheap lipstick, but it's the shade of orange that goes with a lot of the orange looks that I do that I like, because I like that shade of orange. The Daring Lee Mood Matte from Maybelline. It's just a nude, basically. It's not too pink and it's not too orange. Or, so. uh, and my... Colourpop one. I used that one. I think 
think I used the other Colourpop one from Sweet Talk palette once because it's a brighter orange. I used lots of orange lipstick. I used my gloss from um, LA Colours. This one is in Snuggle. I used that with the lip paint because they go together nicely. And what's this one? This one was Touch of Spice, which also was a good colour to go with the Magic Spell palette. And I used bright orange as well. And this was Mango Diamonds. I think this is Maybelline. Yeah, Maybelline. <laughs> I always forget whether it's Maybelline or um, oh yeah. So I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I used eleven different lip products over the month. I did use my pen, my palette one a couple of times, but not. I didn't use this very often. So <laughs> those were the ones that I pulled from my stash. I also pulled some Super Shop shadows and jellies. And I didn't use them. <laughs> what it is about these that I never use. I did, oh, I did use the green one. I did use the green one. But I didn't use any of the others. I just watched them a few times and thought, oh, they look really pretty. And then I never use them in a look. I think because I was testing out the new palette, so I was just trying to use the palettes for the looks for the most part. I pulled this as well, and I didn't use this either. And all the little eye lights that, and um, toppers that I had picked. I didn't use any of <laughs> so I a bit hopeless on there. I did use my highlighter palette with my W7 palette. I, sometimes I wanted a coloured highlighter, so I did use my BYS one. Uh, I did end up pulling my Australis Neutralize palette for a couple of colours for something I was doing. I looked at this one and didn't use it. <laughs> and it it was everything. Like I used eyeliners, but I didn't pull any because like, I used pink and green quite a bit, and orange, black all the time, and bronze. And yeah, so I didn't. I didn't pull those. I just used them and put them back. <laughs> but but in the videos, if you're interested, I, I have actually listed what I've been using. So I pulled an, another foundation because um, this one was nearly empty. I think I finished it today, but. I might be able to squeeze enough for one more out, so I didn't actually use this one. And I tried out my mint chocolate chip I Love Revolution colour correcting thing that I'd brought. And um, <laughs> I don't know that it colour corrects very much. I don't, it kind of blends away a bit too much. Not as badly as some of the ones that I have had that blend away. And you can't see it at all, and there's no point in putting it on. But it does blend away. So if you've got really red areas, then I don't think this is going to work for you. If you've just got a little bit of red you want to cover up, then it might work quite well. And um, it smells really nice, but it's really messy because you open the lid and it just it ends up squirting all out in the top. I know, because it's quite a runny mixture. I don't like that. I tried out my Australis Primer because I had finished my other one. I... It says prevents foundation fading, smooths, and refines moisturizing. It's silicone. For, this is just a little tester. Um, I, it says refines. What does it mean by refines? Because it certainly doesn't make my pores any smaller. Um, it's, it sits nice. It doesn't do anything weird with the foundation that I was using. And it is moisturizing. It's not sticky at all. It's not one of those ones you put on that feels silicone -y. It doesn't feel like that at all. It does feel just like I put a moisturizer on and soaks it up. So. <laughs> so um, I'm going to continue using it because um, that's what I've decided to put in. <laughs> so now I'm ready to shop my stash. So there are a couple of things I know I want to do in October and I have actually started one of them. So this may not be the final thing but I've started it. So I wanted to do a dupe of the Vintage Rose palette. So I have started pulling some shadows and I'm actually wearing it today on my eyes since it's October now. <laughs> so I've started doing this and I want to do a video on a different um, 
looks I can do with it because I'm really intrigued by that colour scheme. I think they've kind of done that colour scheme really well and I really like it and I wanted to play with the colour scheme. So um, I'm definitely going to do that. The other thing I wanted to do because I was playing with my Colourpop Super Shop Shadow for something in ring and that's what it looks like and it has this violet blue kind of shift I don't it's quite pale so it's quite hard to see on camera but I looked at it and I, I was watching it over some pink shadows and things and I thought hmm yeah, that needs the lilac you a lot of it so I'm going to have a play with this and I'm going to pull my palettes in and see, I don't, I don't need to make an exact dupe, I just want to have a see what I can do in the lilac range and do some videos on lilac looks. If I had that palette, what would I do with it? And then at the end of doing the looks, do I still want to buy it? So I'm planning on doing that. So that is something else I want to do. So I'll be using this and I'll be doing my kind of version of the lilac you a lot, my version of the um, vintage rose palette. So those are the colours that I'm kind of looking at. So I'm looking for greens and pinks and lilacs and things like that. So for blushes, for those greens and pinks and lilacs, looks, what would I like to choose? Because this palette's going to be the wrong shades. So um, let's go and have a look. Okay, I'm going to go into my blush drawer, which is this one here, and I think what I want to do is I'm going to go into my Revolution blush palette, and this is the Blush Queen one. I have a usual problem with my thing, because it's got quite a few pinks. These ones are all shimmery though. And some of them look more like blush toppers or highlighters than actual blushes. So I think I will pull that. But I think I'll also pull my LA Colors one. Because this has got some mattes. And I don't know if I can open this one with my hand. But this pink and this pink and maybe even this pink here. They all look like colors that will go well with some of the pinks that I've pulled for the vintage rose dupe. So I'm going to pull those as part of my stash for this week. I'll just move some stuff out of the way. But I had um, five girls in here yesterday playing with my makeup and doing Halloween looks. So um, it's a bit messy in here. I have tidied up a bit, but it's still a bit messy in here. <laughs> so, and I also will need highlighter. Now, getting the right colour pink, because a lot of the pinks might be too bluey, because I think these, these pinks here, they're too bluey pink. I want something warmer, which is where Sophie's palette might come in. Let's have a look. What about this one? Sorry, you couldn't see that, could you? Possibly. What about this one? I've, I've only used this one a couple of times because it was a free gift with purchase. So this is the Chi Chi Wall of Shimmer, if I can get open. I was thinking possibly this one because then I can tailor it to what I want. Can you actually see that? I don't know if you can see that, but it is a much warmer looking pink. So I think I'm going to pull this one for a pink highlighter. And then possibly I could use the other shades as well. So I'm going to pull that. Now because I'm going to be using green, I'm going to pull this one as well, which is from Classy Cakes. And this is King Trojan. What that one looks like. Very, very pretty. Feeling. So I'm going to pull that one as well. And now I've got highlighter all over me. So I've got blush and highlighter. I 
going to because this foundation this infallible one i think is finished i might get one more out of it i'm just going to leave in the thin lizzy one because i didn't get a chance to use that this month because this one just lasted forever and there were days this month that i didn't actually wear makeup which doesn't happen that often and for bronzer i'm gonna leave this one in because i think i would like to pan this one i might put this one in my panning project because i may as well use it up i do like it but i might as well use it and now this drawer is looking really messy look at that that's what happens when you have teenagers playing in your makeup i, I don't have a huge amount of bronzers i haven't used this one for a long time maybe i'll pull this one i have to put my camera down because I haven't used this one for ages, so it's a glowy one as well. But I think I might try this one. Why not? I'm going to use my pan my palette that I've been making for the Pinky Rose. Um, I didn't get to use this one last month, so I'm going to leave that in. It's got some nice purples and pinks in it too. So that's what we've got so far. And I'll be pulling in lots of palettes with lilac in it. Now I have brought this Essence one that I haven't tried yet. So I'm going to pull this one. I can get it to stay open. <laughs> so that I can play with that. And I think some of those colours will work in nicely with lilac and the rose one and things. So I think all the other stuff I pulled will work well with that. I haven't used my Festival palette yet. So I want to get into that. And I got the Revolution Avocado palette, so I definitely want to play with that. So this is what this one looks like, so I definitely want to play with, with that one. And I want to see if how I like this one compared to the um, You Can Be Magic Spell palette, because this has got quite a few greens. That one's got quite a few greens. They are different. Like this has got pink and green. This one's more just brown and green. But I want to see how I like this formula compared to this formula. So that's my plan. So again, I think I'm feeling feeling quite um, <laughs> ambitious. I haven't got any lip products yet. I know there is a couple I want to pull. So I'll pull oh, this one. So I want to pull this one, the um, L'Oreal Insta Heaven, because I think that's going to be a good pink to go with what I want. And I want to pull the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Dreamer, because I think this colour will be a good pink to go with the pink looks. But I'm not really sure what else that I'm wanting in here at this stage. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull those two for now. And then I'll do what I did last time, and as I use them, I'll pull them, and then I can show you what I actually used at the end. And I'm not going to pull lots of eyeliners, but I can tell you now I'll be using lots of the greens. I'll be using the pinks, and probably the um, burgundy. And I'll be using the purples, because those are the colours that I think I'm going to be using this so I think that's all I need to look at what I think I might do as well because I'll be testing palettes I'm going to have the same problem this month as I had last month in that I won't know what I want to pull out of here and I probably won't use that many because I'll be busy testing my palettes out so <laughs> that's um <laughs> I think I'll do the same as I did with the lipstick and I'll pull it as I use it and then I'll show you what I actually used instead of pulling the whole lot of stuff and then never using it and just holding it up and say I didn't use those because <laughs> it sounds a bit useless. I don't know if I'll get them all used again this month there's way too many eyeshadows in there but I really want to do the vintage rose and I really want to do do this one comparing the avocado with how I liked this one and I really want to do the lilac you a lot to see if I actually want to buy it. So we'll see how we go. 
So wish me luck and hope you have fun shopping your stash this month. Have you got a colour scheme in mind or a particular palette you want to use? Tell me about it. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.